So, guys, do you know where we end up in this video? Because we are really asking, we do not know. Sara and Joni from Fantastic here. We are doing road tripping in Balkans this summer. And at the moment we are in lovely Albania. And we were enjoying Valbona Valley, one of the most beautiful places in whole Albania. Pointy so. mountains, pristine clear water, really cold water to go deep in, but so refreshing. Yes, it was nice. This is the mouth of the Valbona Valley, so we have left it behind. One of the most beautiful sceneries that we have seen on this trip. And the Blue River just gives you this really good feeling when you see it. We are ready to go forward from here to near the coastal line. Ah, oh, so beautiful surroundings. It gives you energy, good feeling and also keeps you cool. Where's water, there's bees. But luckily we got ourselves a full tank of good tasting water before we go to the shoreline. Yay! I hate myself a little bit. We took water from the city when there's a really nice spring water here in the mountains. We love spring water. It's, uh, it's the essence of van life. And now we missed it. This is part of the Trin River that we have been last three weeks. So on the Macedonian side we were on the Trin River and the Trin River also continues here. Nicest ferry of Albania is there. It's uh, from uh, in Koma Lake. You can get the ferry, it costs 160 euros, so we don't have that kind of money, so we don't take it. But it goes through the Koma Lake and it's like uh, you are in Norway. But we took another route. We're gonna drive through mountain area to next wild camping spots somewhere in the mountains. It's loud because our AC is on and we need that all the cooling it gives. 35 and it was 39 in the valley. We were planning to go to the shoreline of Albania, but then we... Uh, Did discover it's built it really tight. There's a lot of hotels and when there's no hotels, it's really trashy. So it, we got out of mood of going to the shoreline. We are browsing Park for Night and Google Maps and searching reviews and everything. And going to the Albanian shoreline looks Worse and worse, more we study it. <laughs> every comment or every review says it's full of trash. Dirty. Dirty. Expensive prices for parking only. Yeah, it's 10 euros per parking on the beach and 20 euros for camping, which is parking lot with camping facilities, I think. Dirty toilets, I think. Dirty toilets. <laughs> no, unusable toilets told German guy on a park for night and so it's almost 40 degrees there and it's only 30, 30 here in the pine forest so it, we got out of mood of going to the shoreline even we, we drove yesterday four hours <laughs> to get to shoreline but now we are turning back because we are making these hectic decisions which is not always financially good decisions but we are overall living on the road and we can do whatever we want to. <laughs> yeah, we are a bit panicking and then you make really bad choices. So yeah. now we are driving new country day. Montenegro side 
and there is a ski resort little higher bit in altitude so hopefully we can score a little colder climate and where we can spend longer time yeah usually we like to stay in longer times in each spot but these past months have been kind of hectic to our traveling phase and lots of driving but today we continue driving too We are saying goodbye to Albania. Albania, you were a great road tripping country. And this time, well, we haven't seen our command section yet, but we did not receive any death threats. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we received one death threat. When you are a small YouTube channel, you have a famous people problems because you say everything straight out loud <laughs> and you want to share your experience and share our life, but you don't get the fame part and money part. <laughs> Janit, tell about the driving culture in Albania. It's mixed. 90% of people drive really nicely. 10% of people drive like Polish people 50 <laughs> years ago. Like maniacs, yeah. Albania it feels really safe country, except the driving culture sometimes. Yeah. Roads are perfect condition, even in the countryside. So this is a great road tripping country. It was road tripping for us because we drove a lot in Albania. Yeah, but we did see everything. Beautiful and not so beautiful places from our van window. Yeah. Prices in Albania are kind of high yeah. and there's a lot of people who live below the poverty line. So and 30%, I think it's almost finished crawfish uh, prices. So expensive here, we don't know how people can survive. But Even on the Saturday markets, the fresh produce is still the same price as in Finland. Yeah, an average salary is like way, way below. But there is a lot of really, really rich people also in Albania. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but now uh, ASIM, we have passports and car papers ready. And then we can go to the border. We have one hour drive to Podgorica. Podgorica. Podgorica, a uh, large city which we go to the grocery store there. And then we drive through toll roads. Yeah, it's a treat day. So Sikisaki we, roads are over for now on. Yes, toll roads, we're going to go to the north and to the 1.6 kilometers. And hoping Hi. it's it's cold there. A little bit of shade to our van. Yeah, that would be such a nice. Yes. Now I register the ASIM. You need to okay. scan your passport to it. Ooh. Hope the scan is not the scam. Yay, we arrived Montenegro. We were actually surprised that, oh, there's lots of parking lots and in the shade we can actually park our van. So we are so, so lucky when we go grocery shopping that we can get our van to the shade. But we are not lucky. We are not lucky at all, actually. Totally opposite. It's a national holiday in Montenegro and everything is closed today. It's 37 degrees. We cannot be here in Puerto Rico. We will melt. And it will be even hotter in one or two hours. So when 40. <laughs> we always check holidays when we go to a new country. That is one of the things that we always check besides diesel and LPG prices. And we check holidays every time, but not this time. And it's holiday. <laughs> we cannot do anything. So, what we're gonna do is drive, I think two hours through motorway to mountains, coldness, and let's see next week where we buy 
our food. We got a watermelon from the side of the road and one kilo of good tomatoes. Some fresh produce for us. Six euros, 30 cents. Temperature just plummeted six degrees when we came out of the city and drove to the mountains in a moderate way. So hopefully it goes down another six degrees. So 29 is our goal. 27 is a dream and 25 never will happen. Yeah, one hour drive through Modrow Way, 5 euros. That is good. Yes, this has been one of the cheapest Modrow Ways that we have driven. I think 20 ish tunnels, most of them more than one kilometer, dozens of bridges, huge bridges, and we came like uh, 75 kilometers and six euros. Every bird of every euro. Yay for cheap Montenegro. And Tara Canyon is almost dried out. No. So we just followed the ski resort service road up in the mountains. Yeah, we are almost up in the mountains. Really. Five minutes, then we are there. Brutally dreamy place for a couple of reasons. It's dreamy weather here. It's 26 degrees! It's not hot. It's sun is shining, it's not hot. You don't feel hot. And we have a cloud. We have a beautiful surroundings. Brutally beautiful surroundings. This is a Kolasin ski resort in Montenegro. And yeah, summertime, there's nobody. And what we absolutely love about the mountain egg road, they are crazy about the off-roading on 4x4 routes. So you can basically drive almost everywhere. At least on the already made tracks. Exactly. So we love it here. We followed the service. There's a flying ants in here. A lot of them. Okay, there's always some negative thing about places, but... <laughs> always a new box. Yes, new box. I think they are now mating and flying and trying to fight the... Mating person. Yeah. Yeah, this is service road that comes here to the top of the ski resort that we drove. I think uh, 40 minutes or so, really bumpy. And there has been lots of service in the past days, so it was dusty. Yeah. And they are building so fast here and you can see all these kind of construction sites and construction vehicles and it kind of looks like an out of bounds site but yes we did it, you need to drive us here. Yeah, there is a one old hotel on this ski resort and now they are building 10 huge hotels in here. The 4x4 and off-roading is totally tolerable in, in uh, Montenegro and especially on the tracks that are already, already there. Yeah. So as you can see, there's always 4x4s everywhere. You can see on these rails, there comes a lot of 4x4s driving and they love it. Montenegrans love 4x4s. The more dusty, the more dirty, the more muddy, the more they love it. Yeah. So This is very manly man. Country. Macho culture, land. <laughs> yes. Let's enjoy this place. And let's eat our watermelon that That's got dropped on the ground and smashed in half. Yes. We need to eat it before it goes bad. Six kilos of watermelon. Really juicy. 
And the real stuff because it has the seeds. Straight from the field. Straight from the field. Right. Explain what are you doing now? I'm chopping watermelon into cubes, putting them to the plastic containers and then freeze it. So future hot days when we get out of the mountains we can have a really nice freeze watermelon. It's the best. <laughs>